Hi everyone, it's Heidi from Flutterby, Heidi.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And today I just want to showcase some more of the lovely Ponsettia Place um, suite. So this is a fabulous suite that has everything in it. And I've just shown here that um, you've got various options. So it comes with a stamp set and coordinating dies. So the Ponsettia Petals, beautiful stamped images that you can see here. And then the lovely um, dies, the Ponsettia dies that come with it. You can see I've been doing lots of cutting um, that create these lovely shapes. So you have two options. You can either die cut the stamped images or, as you can see here, you can stamp and sorry, die cut and emboss at the same time to create these beautiful flowers and like this one here. So um, various options including um, die cut and embossed leaves. I've just die cut the leaves there. I need to add my embossed leaves onto there as well uh, because that's what we're going to be doing today to create this just very simple split panel DSP um, card. So if you've got a bit of DSP you're not quite so keen on or you like one side not the other you can always cut it up and use it that way. So I've just done some die cutting with the embossed leaves here and the lovely holly leaves here which hopefully you can see the embossing on, she says, optimistically. Okay, I've used the beaded pearls that come already in these lovely um, clusters all together. I have found my glue dots, they, then, they don't come with adhesive, so you can use whatever your preferred method is uh, for adding those on. Um, I'm going to use our glue dots because uh, those are really, really sticky and get those done as well. And the paper I'm using is the Ponsettia Place paper. So you can see it's 12 sheets, um, double sided, six designs. So on the one side we've got lovely florals and some smaller repeat designs on the reverse. So lovely pine cones. And so these are not just for Christmas, so you know, any winter themed projects. This is probably my favourite paper and you can recreate that using the stamps um, in the um, in the stamp set as well. Some lovely sort of green tones here, old olive, um, garden green in here, and then a hint of bumblebee, which is what I've used on this card, in with the real red and the um, old olive tones um, of this paper. So, as I say, really simple card to, um, to put together, uh, but you do need to do some die cutting. So, with the dies, a couple of things that I would recommend. So, when you do your um, dies, uh, I'm going to. I'm using my obviously with my leaf dies here, but I'm also going to use my um, Ponsettia dies as well. So, what you can put them through at the same time, but I would say if you're using a magnetic plate, or even if you're not, I would use a little bit of washi tape to make sure those aren't going to move and overlap and um, damage your dies. I will also add a dot to both my outline and my inner to make sure that it's quick and easy for me to line those up because obviously again you want to make sure they are lined up so that they don't overlap. And then put, when you pop those down onto your card, as I say, just add a little bit of um, little bit of washi tape, pop those through, and if um, when you're embossing, if you have um, an embossing layer, embossing mat recommend you use that if not then use a shim of an extra piece of card or whatever you use to really get that embossed effect and when you've die cut those you're going to want to cut one of each of the large flowers and i usually go through and do quite a few all at the same time you'll see here so i've already got stuff some of the smaller ones and some of the middle size ones so I always go through and do more than one at a time because that way, you know, you're always ready to go if you need to make a quick card. And then my other pieces, including my beaded pearls, here we go. So my beaded pearls, as I say, you can get, you know, lovely detailed embossing on those. And the more pressure you put, the better, the better you get. And then we've got three leaves here. So one of the larger and two of the smaller leaves. So one large, two small one of each size of the Ponsettias. I've cut just a sprig in garden green of my foliage. And then I've created a card base. So this is 29 by 10 and a half centimetres, scored at 14 and a half centimetres to give my card base. I've then got a layer of garden green and you want to trim that to 14. 
by 10 centimeters. So you get a, just a nice little narrow layer there. And then our DSP, I've actually used the other half of this one. So this is a two for one card. So take a piece of DSP, um, which is um, nine by 13 centimeters, and then just cut it in half diagonally. And you will end up with two pieces and this is the card I've created here so you could create one that's very similar again or you could flip that and create a slightly different one so that's what I'm going to do so let's see how it works out so all you do with to cut that in half diagonally is either use a craft knife or use your um, use your trimmer to pop that then add some stamping seal. Make sure you come right up to those points. You don't want those points lifting up on the corner of your card. And then when I'm doing a diagonal, um, I actually want a slightly broader piece in the middle. Um, so I'm just going to line up in the corner and get hopefully my border. Make sure I've got that the right way. And again, just add your glue to the outside edges of that just coming right up to the top and then again don't try lining it up with the other piece I try and make sure I line up with the outer edges here now if you wanted to have a narrower border then obviously just make your your DSP slightly bigger but I just quite like that slightly broader stripe that we've got there to create the flowers um, I'm going to use my bone folder and actually I'm going to create a slightly different set. So you can just use your bone folder. Don't pull too hard. You don't want to get rid of those embossed details. And that will create just, just a very a smoothish flower. Or you can then crease those points. So I'm just going to come in and just crease the points, not all the way along the length. So you're going to get sort of a little bit, a little bit more shaping on those. Do the same again for all three. So I'm kind of putting a little bit more dimension in the middle, and then just coming in and squeezing just the tip of the flower. Like so. And then the final one, I'm saying that by sort of shaping these a little bit more, not only do you get a bit more dimension, but just you can get quite different looks to your flowers. So again, just pinch, you say it is just that very tip that you're sort of, you see there, I'm just sort of creating, as, as, say, as, a, as, a, as a petal kind of unfurls. You often get these kind of slight points at the end as well. Similar thing on our... Um, holly leaves and I'm going to come either side of that crease and then fold it in half down the length to get that real sort of holly shape so again on each one pull out because you're stretching the fibers and then it will naturally crease along the center there and the third one and all of this just adds a bit of interest to your card. Now, obviously, depending on if you're posting these, you may not want to add quite as much dimension. But um, if you know, often our special cards are are delivered by hand, aren't they? So um, we can add that. So I'm just going to add some. Again, oh no, that's my seal plus. Don't want to waste that. I just want my ordinary seal. So seal plus is our 3D um, adhesive. Seal is our, the one that we use for flat. Um, adhesives uh, adi for flat layers so where it's not a moving card or a, a box okay so I'm putting that flat you could pop that up on dimensionals now to create our flower up to you what glue you want to use um, for these and this is where I would sometimes use my seal plus so I'm just going to add a little bit to the center of the first two sizes and pop those on top of each other and then add in our third layer and then I'm going to kind of fluff that up a bit add a dimensional to the back and big diamond big flower big dimensional and that will help it stand up out of the this the um, center of the card and then with our glue dots 
So mini glue dots, really, really sticky, absolutely fantastic. Um, and I just keep them on the roll and just, I'm actually going to add a couple and they just fit perfectly. I'm actually going to add three because they fit perfectly behind um, behind that those pearls on each one. So, and all of a sudden that brings that flower just beautifully to life. So you can pop your flower. So pretty much central, and then I usually use a little bit of wet glue when I'm adding. Um, my uh, foliage because it just gives us a bit of wiggle room. Just putting a little bit on the tip there and add that into the top corner and then on the leaves so pop those holly leaves up under the flower lift that flower up and there we have a pair of cards and you can see this one is quite a bit flatter I've just curved this one I've made more dimensional by folding and um, and creasing those as well so depending on whether you're posting or handing out these ones you know what I think I probably prefer this one but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like me to send you this card, then uh, comment in the comments below. I'll at the end of uh, end of my end of the month, I will dr randomly um, draw um, one of those comments. So if you've commented, if you've shared, um, pop a comment in the below, and I'll randomly contact you. Let me have your address, and you could receive one of these cards in the post. Thanks for watching. Come back again soon. Bye.